let's knock out the games that don't look B related. I think I want to save. The la I think this is the last game that's like B related. So we're going to save Panzer B's for the end. And we're going to check out the other games that were just so kindly put into it, put into the jam. I don't know about this one. Just like the Scuffed Mario one, I don't know about this one because I don't know what music is going to be in here and I don't want to mess, mess it up. Restore Peace to the Galaxy and take control of the Millennium Falcon and take down take down an anonymous entity. See, those those worry me. Those games worry me. BT Engine Demo. All right, so we'll save these two for the end because they seem to be B-themed. The rest of them, though, we're going to go through them real quick. Let's go into Funny Balls. Ah. Funny Balls by Craft Ooz. Craft Ooz. Question is, am I already following Craft Ooz? Oh, they have a lot of stuff, actually. I think I do. I did. I played one of the games before, I think. What are these games? Interesting. Okay. Okay. In this game... There will be four, you will be four participants this month, but three of them will be AI, but still AIs will not bore you in this game. You will collect fruits, fruits, your enemies, uh, you will collect fruits. Your enemies are these AI bots. They will pick fruits like you and score points when the game timer is over. When the game timer is over, there are currently three maps in the game, but we will try to add more. It's up to you. Alrighty. It looks like we can't play it in the browser, so we're gonna have to download it. So let's go. Let's download this real quick. Kind of like. Wait, hold on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What is the choose supposed to be? One PT? Y yes, it's supposed to be one PT just for this particular game jam. If there were devs that were here and have entered the game jam, and this is like the only time they have to watch the stream, uh, if they want their game to be featured now and they can skip the line, because I just go across, I just go left to right. Um, if they want to skip the line and they want to see their game played like now, they can do that and I'll just go through the list. Like those will take priority is the idea. Um, but so far, so good. I think I think the last few devs that could have made it here, I think I've seen everybody's like games that were that were dedicated and wanted to be in this jam more and were excited to show off their games. I think we got everybody. Um, I'm just taking up the last few stragglers and we'll be done with the jam, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna lurk while I work. All right, thank you so much for that, Micro. Greatly appreciate. Oh, we got music. can't tell if it's super loud or not, but it's really green, that's for sure. You know, you know, it's the right, it's the perfect green. Wait a minute. Hold on. Because this is the perfect green. Wait, because this is the perfect green. Hold on one second. Are we on display capture right now? We are. Hold on. Because this is the perfect green filters. Chroma key. Chroma key. <laughs> it's pretty quiet on my side? Really? Hold on one second. Oh, that's because it's not playing. Oh shit, blue, blue, uh, bluish green productions. Thank you so much for the raid. Greatly appreciated. Wow, it's the perfect green. It really is the perfect green. Look at that. The perfect green. A leafless apple. Have you ever seen one like that? And speaking of green, bluish green. Thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, tonight with the raid, uh, guys. Bluish green productions is actually one uh, that was in my showcase. The first showcase I did. The indie showcases on Sundays. Um, they are the they are the sole owners of world worlds within worlds if you want to check out that game it's over on itch.io bluish blue screen productions if you actually have a link to your itch.io page that'd be super awesome uh then people can like go and check out what's available for them to play uh there's a downloadable version and a uh and a like you could play in the browser version i think the downloadable version technically is like the better one in my opinion in my opinion but how was your stream sir 
What were you streaming today? What were you streaming today? We got a follow as well. Thank you so much for that follow, bud. One second. Let me just grab this light. There we go. Put a little light. Put a little light in my face. Actually, I might even just put on the LED. My, my eyes be killing me, so we're going to put on the LEDs and be super cool streamer people and have a cool little setup like everybody else. How's that? Oh, that's for mods? Oh, what's for mods? Looky here, boss. That two crown production started following. Thank you, two crown production, for that follow. It's great. Greatly appreciate it. Also, am I? The game, the, the, my, my OBS seems to be lagging a lot. I tried the shadow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The shadow is just for mods. I got you. Scan. Bluish green productions. Oh, you're doing software and game development. Yeah, were you interviewing somebody? Let's see. Sure. If you don't, if I'm not, absolutely not. There it is right there, guys. That's the. That is the itch.io link. You can go to check out what Bluish Green Productions has been up to. Great thanks. Did a couple of developer interviews. Fantastic. Uh, Gab, G Gabe is a cool guy. Gabe is a cool guy. Oh, that must be Bluish Green Productions. I didn't know his first name. Ooh, no. <laughs> There's a shout out. Um, just take a quick look at... Just took a quick look at your game. It looks super awesome. It actually is BT. BT, it is fantastic. If you have time, go check it out. Go play. Play it while we're doing this. We're, I, you, play it while we're doing this. You ain't got nothing better to do. Come on now. If you're watching me, you ain't got nothing better to do. Thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciate it. All right, we're going to leave it the way it is here. Let's play. All right. Apple. I think we're collecting Apple. Excuse me? Oh. Oh, well, that doesn't seem very fair. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, how can you guys not hear the game? It's not playing. How about that? Can you guys hear that? It works now? All right, cool, cool, cool. They're literally hovering up there. What a bunch of loses. Fine, watermelon, how's that? Oh. No, stop cheating. Oh my god. Cheaters. What is headballers? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, you bitch. That's mine. Can't have it. It's mine. Yo! Yellow. Got it. Oh, you just hold it for as long as you can. I'm continuously going off to the side. What is this? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Oh, God. I'm detecting some jankiness. Lurk, I think there is some jankiness. I could be wrong. Okay. That that is uh that is definitely four balls. Four balls. Funny balls. Oh sorry, four funny balls. Four funny balls. I'm gonna give this guy a one for graphics because at least he had some. He had some music. At least he had some music playing in the background. Was it fun? No. The computer's cheated. I'm putting a one on that. 90s didn't see the 90s reference, but that's okay. We were we're, these are the last few. I've done very well about giving everybody else good feedback that have kind of followed the themes and trying to be into the 90s and having music. They had two weeks to come up with something. So, again, I'm also very scared to see what this is going to be because usually when they do something based off of something like this, uh, we can click spaces to shoot, P is to boost. Wait, shoot, boost... 
arrows to move, click is to shoot. Why would you put the P? That doesn't make it. So why would I? Space is to shoot. Oh, space is to shoot. Mouse control. Click is to, no. Click is to shoot. Space is to boost. P is to pause. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. I was reading it backwards. I'm sorry. If this immediately has Ubisoft in a nutshell, Orange got. Got his head skills bashed. His head's bashed in. Oh my god, true. Weren't there five balls? True. False advertising. Also, this doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to re... I'm going to re... Hmm. Uh, uh, is there a download? To get it to work. Uh, smiley face. All righty. Give it that. So that one's done. We're like I guess like I said, we're doing we're we're rapid firing the last few available. All right. The search for gems in space. This one's by Pro Produxicons. Produxicons E. That's what we're checking out right now. Roxal is back again. Roxal, thank you so much for the food, man. You're great. Dude, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, man. You literally saved me from having to eat ramen again for like the fourth time in a row. Yeah, I couldn't get I couldn't get the scratch games to work either. Hmm. I wonder. Well. Alright, we're gonna check this one out here. Let's go to their game page real quick. Oh, I opened it up already. Any more information that we can find here? Released Windows E Productions of the author. Click the download the link. That's the zip. Do they have anything else that's available? Oh, they got this. Whatever this is. Oh, they got a couple of things, looks like. Adventures of the Stick. Adventures of the Stick. Okay. Let's download and see what we can get. I still want to play this game. Behind the Frame. I still want to play that game really bad. It looks soothing and relaxing, and it would be something that I would like to check out. Project number two dot exe. Oh, okay. Controls. Move and shoot. Okay. This seems loud. It looks loud. You gotta treat the entertainer right. Thanks, man. You're greatly appreciated. You really are, dude. Thank you so much. I don't know. I don't know if I have to kill all those guys. What I can tell you is. Oh! You can only get hit once? Oh, sugar. So realistic? True. I didn't know that spaceships had gut had like actual pistols as their guns. Is is this is this it? We're gonna we're gonna make it to the end. You know that, right? Also, let me know if the gun sound is a little too loud, because it seems a little loud to me anyway. more 
If you're wondering what game it is, it's the one in the jam called The Search for Gems in Space. The Search for Gems is so much faster. Shoot as fast as you can press. I was playing on control, this would be so much faster. Did I win? I'm gonna go with I won. I think they had the I think you think they had the rights to the music? Oh, I hope I hope so. There's no other information on here other than like they didn't say what asset pack they used, they didn't say if they made the music themselves. <laughs> Pro gamer rook. Definitely made from scratch. That's what it seems like. The music, I don't know though, because like you can get music anywhere, so I don't know how I don't know how 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 from scratch that was made. Sound like a rifle? Nice. The gun sound effects are so realistic. Sus. Kind of sus. Not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to go with... I knew what I was shooting at, so I'm going to go with the two for graphics. They had sounds and they had sound effects. I'll give them a three. Was it fun? Eh, I'll give it a one. 90s? Didn't feel the 90s. I'm going to give them that. Alrighty, let's move on. We're going to grab... Ooh, Death by Midnight. Another spooky game. How many spooky games has this been? Oh my god. How many spooky games has this been? Oh boy, here we go. Death by Moonlight. Oh boy. Tell me we a werewolf though. This one looks pretty solid, to be honest. People have even made some videos on it too. Is this the only rate for the, is this the only jam it's been in? Does he have a page? Does this person have a page? Safira. Just this game, huh? Okay. All right, we download now. Uh, we'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. What is... Uh, what is... What do they say about their game? What if today's popular games were made by PlayStation 1? Well, this is the game all about all about that. We made for we made it for the 32-bit game jam and was having in mind the thought of making a kind of Dead by Daylight single player. Dead by Daylight single player? Okay, wait a minute. What? I started I started development about 2 days after the game jam have started and my goal uh, my goal at the time was to make a fan-made Dead by Daylight demake. Demake instead of a re it's a demake. Okay, okay. You can see the results in the following video. We're not going to ruin it for ourselves. After after I discovered about the game jam, I called a friend of mine and asked if asked if uh, he wanted to take this a little bit seriously for the game jam, and he agreed. The game themed shift. The game theme shifted for more for more a, a for a more original one, though still being heavily inspired by Dead by Daylight, the demake of Dead by Daylight. I'm going to say. Uh, if you wonder why there are two versions to download, here's the answer. The Dead by Daylight default, and then this is the higher resolution one. 
Also, I like how in this picture, there's literally something really spooky, oh, creepy behind it, and I'm very, very scared about that. I see the higher resolution. That we're, we're gonna, we're gonna play this one. This is the one I downloaded. About the game, it's all about how far a parent can go for their children. The story is about an an American Japanese middle aged man that had that had his daughter get kidnapped by two infamous serial killers, the deformed twins, commonly known as Sad and Happy. That's creepy. Uh, that roamed the state of Washington. Uh, he then got into his car and made hit, made some phone calls trying to locate the kidnappers' whereabouts. Since he, since he too had a dirty past, it was it wasn't that difficult for him to locate the kidnappers. He then drove directly to the abandoned mansion where they were located. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna give him a follow though. Oh boy, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Wait, I missed the beginning. Oops. It's okay. We, you you didn't miss you didn't miss a whole lot in the beginning of this. It's fine. You didn't miss a whole lot. We had a game that that barely worked, and we had one that I couldn't get running, and then we had another one that lied to us because it said there was four ball four funny balls, but there was five funny balls. Messed up. Messed up. Messed up. False advertisement. All right. Death by Moonlight. Here we go. Here we go. Another spooky game. This is the third... The fourth? Third. Third spooky game. Right? There was Arachnophobia. The one with the Mothman. And this one, I think. Oh, right. I forgot to build the one. Oops. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> Big Loud? Hold on. I got you. 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 Hold on. Wait. First... Let me go let me go turn off this filter real quick. I didn't even touch it. Okay. We're going to drop this down to like 30. 30 is usually a good number. DMCA Sony by Sony probably. I'll take it out, I promise. I'll cut it out. Okay, here we go. Cool opening. I'm assuming we can use controller for this, so I'm gonna use my controller for it and see what we can get done. Press the start button. No controller. I would feel so much safer with controller right now. Oh, I would feel so much safer with controller. Okay, here we go. I hate this. I hate this. Let me know, let me know at all if it's still loud. We loading right now. <clears throat> oh shit. Try controller after getting into the game. Oh, there you go. Oh. This is just how we move. Oh, uh, I don't know if this was intentional, but this is how we moving. None of the buttons work. Yeah, none of the buttons work. Okay. The controller buttons, the, the joystick works, but the rest of the buttons don't work. Slide, slide to... To assert dominance. Oh! We can walk normal now. Uh. Wait, what? What? Okay. Can I? Is there a way to... Do you hear crying? Can you guys see? Can you guys see better than I can? I can't see shit. Play this game. Oh my god. 
I don't want to play this game. What do you mean immersion lost? Oh, it's a painting of a dog. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, because you don't slide anymore. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, someone is literally dying in that room. It was okay. We tried that door. We found one that worked. Looks like statues of a samurai. Oh, I see. Okay, so we need to figure out... The shadow makes me think there's someone behind him. I wonder how we're supposed to figure out which dudes are supposed to hold the, the birds. Anybody have any ideas? Looks like the statue of a samurai. Holding some sort of key. Still alive? Yes, Pink Spawn. Do you think it's in the room with them? I'm assuming we have plenty of time to figure this out, but. Alrighty. Let's see. Do you think it's the ones. Statues seem exactly the same. 
And this is bad for my heart. It's okay, BT. I don't think anything scary is going to happen. Get the bird again. Oh. I was thinking maybe the chandelier, but... So once I take them off, I can't put them back. All the statues seem to look exactly the same, too. Like, visually, they seem to be the same. Do you think the windows have something to do with it? Are there any hints in the ceiling? That's the first thing I looked at. I looked at that a couple times. But I don't really see anything that would... Because there's only four birds. I'm thinking the clue is upstairs, in the hallway. Yeah, I'm thinking the clue is upstairs here in the hallway somewhere. There's no ring around this one. Oh, uh, the chandelier. There's no ring around that one either. Or that one. There's a ring around this one. I don't know if that means anything. Which is the dynamic shadows? Okay. Huh. I have no idea. I have no idea. Look at the chandelier, the chandelier bits. I was like, oh god, what the fuck was that? Try some things? Okay, I don't know what to try though. Uh, okay. Um... Bits perfectly in the statue's hands.
there, bird there. No, all the other rooms are locked. Every single other room is locked. How many birds? How many windows? There's four birds, four windows. Do you think the windows line up with the birds? I was thinking that earlier too, but... Can I take a birdie out? Like, out of the room? Your bird now. I think one of the statues has a knob in its hand. Imagine the game is just that you got to save all the birds and bring them outside. I think I've interacted with all of the statues too, at least once.
I'm like a bird, I only wanna fly away. Get on to my home hands. Out when I'm a honey. There's a knob, if there's a knob missing. The statue's clearly got the key. This might be the last puzzle that we do. What, what about the sound stopping at certain statues? I did, I did. I had a bird in my hand when I checked and saw that there was a missing doorknob. flashlight was F. I, I checked that door. I checked that door. I literally checked that door. Okay. His big his biggest worry, however, was the fo was at four o'clock. There was only death, just death. It was impossible to even know how humans can swim so far from shore and still be absolutely torn apart like that. How was it even possible for something to kill humans on the ground and at the same time beings from he from the heavens? That way for sure he was not willing to follow. Hyabus Yak Hyabus Yakuza Were year nineteen XX. The biggest worry is four o'clock. Four o'clock. So do we line up the the birds at four o'clock? Hmm. Just belong to the location. No matter where he looked, the infamous bird island now. Right, so this is telling us that it's still readable. Sadly, the vision didn't just belong to that location. No matter where he looked, the infamous bird island now emanated nothing but the... No matter where he looked. The thing he feared was four o'clock, though? 
find some important inscriptions part of the book. His biggest worry, however, was at 4 o'clock, there was only death. At 4 o'clock, there was only death. Just death. It was impossible to know, to even know humans could swim as far from shore and still he and still be absolutely torn apart like that. Well, how is it even possible for somebody to kill humans on the ground and at the same time beings from the heavens? That way for sure he was not willing to follow. Ayabusa, Ayabusa Yakazua, y Kuza, the total war, 19xx. His biggest worry was 4 o'clock. Well, I guess that means put the birds at 4 o'clock, right? From the puzzle room? It just seems that, that door is locked. Are twelve statues? I thought maybe putting the bird at the top and then the four o'clock one down here would make sense. But I guess not. Mm. All right, let's go check the other rooms. Also did the one in nine positions. The one, that's the one. I got nothing. 
think we should ask Natalie Furtado. How many more games are there? Uh, we just did, this will be the fourth one, so we have ten more to go. I might need to give up on this one. Because I couldn't get through the puzzle room. Question, I wonder if anybody else got through the puzzle room. Did anybody else try this? Uh, let's see. Generator section. That's it? Yeah. See, you gotta go to sleep. Okay, BT, have a great night, man. Yeah, I did all the other ones throughout the last couple days. What could it be? The note said that he was scared of four o'clock. I don't know. There's nothing that You have an idea? I'm listening, you know. Let me know. Four one nine X. I tried holding the last one and going for the key, but it didn't work.
Like, I'm looking for something in the building that would be a giveaway, and there's just nothing. Give me a second to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some water too, Will, man. Get some more water. I'm wondering if in that room, this a horror game? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Um, but we have been listening to a girl cry in some room. I think she's getting strangled or something. I'm not really sure. We've been trying to figure out these bird puzzle, but the bird puzzle doesn't seem to be working out because we can't figure out where the heck the birds go. All the statues look the same. I want to go back into this room. I found something important in scripted tone torn apart from some book. On the port side, his allies followed him. They must be frightened as he was now. At least at least a few sparrows were following them. Perhaps curious about... Were following them. Perhaps curious about the giant metal machine. Or maybe simply smart enough to keep... A glimpse... Of their right side... Revealed... A glimpse of their right side revealed that another small part of the group of birds was also following one of the ships slightly ahead. Hmm. Starboard, right side. Is there a pattern here? Found some important scriptures tone. On the port side, his allies followed him. On the port side, his allies followed him. They must be as frightened as he is now. 
At least a few sparrows were following them, perhaps curious about a giant metal machine. Or maybe simple, simply smart enough to keep a glimpse of their right side revealed that another small part of the group of birds was also following one of the ships. Slightly ahead, starboard on the right side, All the clues are in the same room. Yep, got the puzzle. Wait, you got it? Was it was it actually 419X? Like one of the other spots? What was it? How did you get it? I'm so confused. No, it's not. So it's not the sides they're all they are talking about. Ah! Well, I don't know what port... Okay, so, so, so... All right, I'll read this one more time. Maybe I'll understand it. I found some important inscriptions torn from the part of the book. On the port side, his allies followed him. And they must be as frightened as he is now. Is port side behind? Oh, port is left. Port is left, starboard is right. Port side, his allies followed him. And they must be as frightened as he is now. At least a few sparrows were following them, perhaps curious about the giant metal machine, or maybe simply or maybe simply smart enough to keep a glimpse of their right side revealed that another small part of the group of birds was following one of the ships. Following one of the ships. Following one of the ships. Slightly ahead. Starboard right side. Starboard right side. Slightly ahead. Four o'clock is also correct. But the nine wasn't? The, the, like the number nine was not? So four o'clock is correct and, and starboard slightly right. Okay, so starboard is the, you said is the right side? Slightly right. So I think mean, it has to be one of the two next to the rightest one, right? As fun as his boots. No matter where he looked, the infamous Bird Island now emanated nothing but the... A bird note still says, Sally the vision that... A... Do you think it just makes a bow? at four o'clock on. So that's four o'clock.
What the fuck? Okay. Yo, wait. I never played Dead by Daylight. I don't know how to do this. Start the engine? What is with the constant growling? Is there actually a dog chasing me or no? Through trees, right? Oh, bitch. Stay right. Stay right. I'm dead. I don't see where the other engines are.
Like, how do I know when I get to the edge of the map? Jesus fucking Christ. He's right there. Does that mean it's on? Now that it's like lit up, does that mean it's actually on? Just go do the others? Okay, you just gotta do the others, okay. Jesus. The coins in chat just scare the shit out of me. I, I don't... Oh, is that what I'm looking for right there? Is this one done? <laughs> That's not done yet? Okay. I see them way over there. Hold on. Please run. Please run. 
Where could the other one possibly be? Where could the other one possibly be? Fuck me, dude. You got two halves of a dab. Can I do nothing? <laughs> Serpentine! Serpent! I'm dead. Wait, I ignored the monster? Wait! I ignored the monster? You don't lose distance in a straight line? Where did you guys see the monster? I thought it was in the clear. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Was he there? I didn't see him. I thought it was in the clear. I looked, I was like, nope, I saw nothing. Was he? Oh my god, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I didn't see him. I was looking at the, I was looking straight like I when I, I had the house on my left side I was looking like back at the other generator to see if like they went over there because I thought they were on that side of the map and they walked this way I didn't see him though I didn't see him though fuck all right all right we're gonna give this one a break because I'm probably not gonna get this <laughs> oh this is scary though definitely scary I'm very curious to see how this game ends, but if you want to see how this game ends, you can go check this game out. Uh, it is on the Game Jam page. I thought you would dab and lose him. Yes. <laughs> Only if. You guys want to check this out on the ga Game Jam page. It's there. Game Jam. Oop. Game Jam. There you go. It's on that. It's on this page here. It is known as Death by Moonlight. That is the name of this game here. Death by Moonlight. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it though. I'm gonna give it fives. I'm gonna give it fives. It wasn't to the theme, but it was a decent game jam. It's it, there's a lot to it. The puzzle, the puzzle was kind of wacky, but I didn't check I didn't check the whole room with the fire in it to like really look at it. So that's my fault. Um, not this one. Heavy steel demo. Let's go into this one here. Um, cause I want to save the last two B ones for the end. Uh, so let's check this one out. Heavy steel, heavy steel demo. It's a fast paced. What? A mech, a mecha game inspired by armor core games. Ar I remember armor core, armor core games, uh, made for 32 bit jam also submitted to the mech jam two, but received permission permission from host to work on it only during the 32 bit jam as it is also two weeks long and starts earlier than the mech 2 jam don't expect don't expect to rank decently don't expect to rank decently yet alone win either jam but it uh it's been it's been a fun learning experience sorry didn't have time to add sound most likely won't continue working on the project i'm not as good with 3d art assets as i am with 2d art assets and this is my first Time trying to make a 32-bit aesthetic. If you got any tips or pointers, go ahead. Also, sorry, there seems to be a weird quirk where if you relaunch the game after exiting it, it messes up the resolution slash full screen mode. I'm not too familiar with the 4E, the, Un the Unreal 4 run in a different aspect ratio and resolution. Controls are in the game menu. All right. Let's give it a shot. Kind of sad they're not going to work on it, though. Mm-hmm. Crazy for games. It looks like they have a couple other ones here. 
Oh, I know this one. At least I think I do. Yeah, I know this one. I know this one. I'm surprised I'm not already following them. Crazy for video games. Interesting. I know that one. I was going to say, I know that one. I know that one. That one's a good one. Penguin feet. Get that off my screen. Wait, where did it go? Did I not just download it? Show in folder. Was it there and I did not see it? Okay. I'm just blind today. Heavy steel demo. Open up. Heavy steel. I'll play it tomorrow when it's daylight. Uh. <laughs> the would be that would be delightful. I guess allow access. Move aim click. Those are the two weapons. Weapon cycle with E and Q. Lock on with mouse click. Middle mouse click. Shift is to shift or tab is to boost. Fly is with space. Critical boost is with control. Arrow keys change target. Okay. Ah, figured out. We're like a little toy robot. I only got one gun. I mean, it's cute. It moves really well. There's no sound, but it moves really well. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Crap. Wait, I'm out of bullets. How do I keep fighting? It said changing them with Q and E, right? Did they drop any ammo? I have nothing else on my chest gun. Mission failed. Please respond. Damn it. <gasps> Abiri with the rate of 16. Hello. How are you? How are you? Thanks for playing the demo. Okay. I guess it was just it was just that. Okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad demo. By the way, folks, anybody just coming in with the berries, right? Hello, my name is Anastal Bastion. I also go by the name... I also run two channels that go by the name Rook Rules Straightforward Gaming over on YouTube and on Twitch. If you like indie games, like, like, like indie games, go check out some of my channels. Uh, I do check them out very, very often. Speaking of which, we're checking out the 32-bit game jam 2021. It's our fourth game jam that I've been hosting with Team Potato since last year in December. Uh, this time around, the theme was bees and espionage. And we're checking out the last bit of the game jam. We're almost done. Uh, there were 66 entries this time compared to our 30 or 35 other entries in our other game jams. So this one was really, really important. So I wanted to make sure I got them all done. Uh, in this one, there was no sound. I do think that it could be a lot of fun, so I'm going to give it a four. The graphics, they weren't that great, but I saw I could tell what I was looking at, so I'm going to give it a two. 90s vibe, I didn't really get it, but that's okay. All right. And who likes games? You make games? I do not make games. I do play video games. I do not make games. I've never made a video game in my life, but I do play video games, and I do enjoy playing them. Uh, I 
wouldn't say that I'm very critical about rating them very often, but like I know what I want in my video games and I play so many of them that I feel like I have a little bit of an idea what goes into them, but I will not sit here and say that I make video games or know anything about making video games. That's something that just doesn't it. But there's a lot of devs that are in chat, as fun as games. Eno, uh, Eno, sorry, Eno. We have, we have a bunch of people in chat that, that make video games. There's a ton of de devs hang out here. I invite indie devs, indie, indie developers to hang out here and just play and just watch and play games. As far, I think It's Boast is still here. Micro is here. He's lurking right now. He's working at the moment. Uh, Blue Screen Production just came in. He's in a game dev. And I believe he brought some game devs with him, which is super nice of him. But yeah, we're going to hop into the next game here. Uh, we are looking at... We're going to follow from... U Ud Udiman? Udiman? Udiman. Udiman 20. Thank you, Udiman 20. Or Ediman. It could be Ediman. And King of and King King of Ants. Thank you so much for that follow. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. We're gonna be checking out Harvest Roll next. This is one of the other entries in the 32-bit game jam. Uh looks like the controls are arrow keys or WASD and eight space or enter to do something. Uh Katamari type of game made for made in Godot. Uh, in two days. This was made in two days, apparently. Uh, Sound and Music is by Cyberleaf. Made for several game jams. Oh, shit. Look at all those. Woof. All right. Here is it. Oh, they worked on a bunch of different games. I think I know this one. I think I know this one down here. Oh, no, I definitely don't know that one. Oh, this is kind of cool looking. All right, well, let's get into Harvest Roll. Uh, it looks like there wasn't a downloadable copy to it, so we're just going to go ahead and push run. Oh, boy. That's not available. Can we download it? Is it available to download in one of the other jams? Is this something that I don't have? It sounds like a game. You die, you die, man. <laughs> so there are games, there are games we wouldn't find even on Chileo. So these are games we wouldn't find on itch.io these are games you would find on itch.io i'm specific i specifically do check out games that are on itch.io slash game jolt if i get keys from lurk it or keys from key mailer indie boost uh the indie uh the indie collective the indie game collective is another group of people that like they give out keys for like when you do um like, if you're an indie content creator, they usually get keys from indie developers or other game companies or groups uh, that aren't quite AAA companies, and they get keys, and they hand them out to you as long as you make content on them. Like, you'll see a lot of those games on my channels, basically. Um, I can't get this game to run, so I think I'm just going to skip it for now, and we'll come back to it if needed. We will come back to it if needed. I will skip it for now, though. Um, Peggy, Lab B. Game.exe. Uh, okay. Can we go to the game page? There's nothing on it. Just demo alpha. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and not do that one either. That one seems as sus as like blues games here. Blue, blue 2170. I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and do pixel karate kid demo. All right, this one has an actual this one has actual page information. And it's not downloadable. Uh You going to move?
but lack of page info is sus. Yeah, I, I just, yeah. Lab B, Lab B is also, also has a dot P C K. It's, it's go dot A, A thac. Yeah, but la yeah, lack of information on the page is sus. This one also doesn't seem to be working. Oh, this one's gonna download, let's see. Gallon Zero. Roughly made in two weeks for the first jam I ever participated in. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do everything I planned. Finish the first... Everything I planned. Finish the first level. And instead, had a had to cobble together everything. I planned to eventually fix the UI, add music, and then fully texture everything, as well as improve on the tutorial so it doesn't come across as me throwing all the mechanics at the player. Play as Lyra, an aspiring space adventurer, and as she... Uh, as she happens upon an alien world that is subjectively subjected, subjected by nefarious, nefarious invaders, jump, dash, and shoot your way through enemies in the planet itself to save the natives of this world and possibly the rest of the galaxy. This doesn't look like a shooting game. Like a, like a space shooter, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really look like that. We're going to download it, though. We're going to give it a shot. At least it has a download and has information. I updated Paramaze. Ah! Oh! Nice. Oh, as far as I know. I gotcha. This one in particular looks sick? I don't know, man. Let me see. Also, hello, Kata. I want Bastion to make a cooking game called <laughs> You Tie Now? Why You Tie Now? Oh? Okay. This is the tutorial. WSC to move in SPS space bars to jump. Wait, what? Oh, I'm tiny. like that is there an invisible wall there on purpose a skill point. Collecting these increases your skills. What's a skill point? Oh, that's a skill point. Oh. Damage. Got him. Oh, is a chest? There's nothing in the chest. This is a loot chest. Open it with X. Went close enough. He, he just does this dance move. When you 
you're low on ammo, you would charge a low portion. Okay. While you still have ammo, press the L, the left shift to perform a dash. Oh, shit. No! Oh my god. Oh, okay, now I understand. I really thought, like... Sound effects peaked a bit. Oh, shit, is it super loud? Hold on. so hard to move this camera. Oh, the blue flowers slow you down. Oh, E is the melee attack. Oh. Oh, shit. Broke that door. Nice. Okay. Play the demo. Nice job. I'm curious if they finish this. This seems pretty cool. All right. I definitely got a 90s feel from it. I can foresee this being very fun. They had sounds and everything except for music in the background. I'll give it a four. The graphics were good. I think the graphics were okay. Um, the aiming with like the mouse could have been better, but I, I'll give it I'll give it a solid four going up and down. How's that? At least it had content on it. I'm just saying. At least it had content on it. All right. Let's go into Hazard. What is it called? Hazard Gear. Hazard Gear. Who is this by? This is by JM Games. The controls the controls are Shift to Run, Alt to Open Door. Why? Alt to open doors. Why? Why couldn't it be E? Shift to quick turn. How can you have shift to run and shift to quick turn? If you beat the last level, it takes you to the previous level, sadly. The key is just an untextured cube. I didn't have time to finish it. Okay. I really wish I could have played this one in the browser. But that's okay. But that's okay. How much time do they have? Everybody had two weeks from when this was announced to uh, to make their game. Weird body movements. This should have been a regular walk speed. This is the run. So were the levels just to find the key and then find the door to leave? Um. Right, I'm gonna assume I don't want to get caught by that guy. 
Yeah, he literally has the light in front of him. I'm going to assume that I'm not supposed to get caught by him. Zombie? Okay. Ooh, sir. Okay. Nope. Okay. How do you juke? Can you go backwards? I can reverse. Okay. There's one right there. Was the door? Was the door? Oh! oh, right. The last level brings you back to the previous level. Okay, yeah, no, we did it. We did. It. We did it. Nice. People don't do things unless there is a timer flicking, a timer ticking on the HDO page. Right. Romazelli. He did. He did say that. 100%. It's true. I'm going to turn off my audio. I don't want to be jump scared. Ha ha No, no. This one doesn't seem like that bad. No. You should have been here. Oof. You should have been here for a few of the other ones earlier in, in the jam. They were they were kind of wild. Um. Yeah. The graphics were okay. There were some sounds in there. I It wasn't that fun. I don't really have a 90s vibe for it, so I'm going to leave it at just twos, I guess. This one isn't that great. This is the... I feel like we did most of the really good ones already. Um, no late returns. No late returns. But this is an odd game that features database and fictional movies that you... The rental store clerk will sort... Okay. Hi, do you accept returns? No, we don't. Okay, geez, sorry. Please pay your late fee promptly. All right, I gotta pick this one. Please don't ban me from the store. I had temporary dumb, dumb? It tease? 
Dumbitis? Dumbitis and forgot? The movies are the movies are in the box though. They're just late. Uh, can I rent another movie again? After you pay the fee, you can rent them again. I'm sorry. Just remember, no late returns. I promise. I'll never forget. Good. Okay. Now that I know now that I know the repercussions of my actions, I can have a freebie where I don't have to pay. Shake head and discuss. Oh boy. No late returns. Built out Saber video employee application. Content warnings about the author. What? What did I just tell? What did I just do? Did anybody else try this out? Does this game have, does this game have, does the game have to be 3D? Um, for this particular gem, yes, we were looking for like a 3D slash 2D or 2D slash 3D game, more in the N64 PlayStation 1 genre is what we were looking for. Uh, that was it, I think that was it. I, I, I don't really know. I'm gonna leave it unrated though, cause I'm not sure on it and there's still a couple of days left i'll ask the devs in the 32-bit game jam discord if maybe they could answer us we got two more check out though we got 32 we got the 32 bt engine demo and we have the panzer bees left these are the last two b themed games and i have rated all the other ones i have rated all the other ones um except for the ones that no images and the star wars one and harvest roll because i couldn't access it so we're just gonna hit up these two and then we'll be done with the jam we did it all right let's head over to the itch.io page all right this one is by dreamcastic it looks like dreamcastic keyboard input will not work if a controller is plugged in please disconnect controllers before playing okay let us do that let us let us do that i think this this wire here we go okay click it in all right your browser does not support web lg what is web lg what is web lg and why does it why doesn't my browser support it I'm not going to waste time on that one. Apparently, we can't play it. All right. Let's try Panzer B. It, like Flash, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not going to worry too much on it. We're at the we're at the tail end of this game jam, and I want to check out one more, one more B game before the jam is over. This is the very last one. We've at least looked at everybody's pages and checked them out, and if they looked too sus, I didn't, I didn't check them out, but... It has 9,000 words of dialogue, over 9,000? That last game? I don't know, man. No, it does not have to be 3D at all. Yes, in this jam, it doesn't have to be. Uh, we were looking for them, though, when it came to, like... Oh, shit. It wasn't a requirement, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't a requirement. It's so tiny. Can I... down a bit first okay do you guys see this it's tiny as hell hold on maybe if i ah okay got it all right how to play space bar and was to move oh wait can i use my controller for this
Oh, hold on. What the fuck? Oh, no. I think I broke my hub. Okay, well, here we go. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god, wait, hold on. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna hit all the rocks. Oh my god, I can't get rid of that. Do I not actually have to worry about my health? Why can't they shoot this guy? This is really cool, though. So rocks seem to be the only thing that can hurt you, besides the other wasps shooting you. That seemed pretty sick. That was pretty sick. It was a quickie. I like that one. I'm gonna give him a follow. Aranaxia. I'm gonna give him a five on this. Give him. I'm gonna give him a five on everything. I feel like that would have been more fun with my controller. I unfortunately, it's not. It's not working right now for some reason. My 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 hub just died for some reason, which sucks. All right then. That was the jam. We did it. We did the whole jam. We checked out everything. All 66 entries. We looked at all their pages and checked them all out. There's only one day left to vote and rate these games. Guys, go check it out over on the itch.io. Yo, dab after dab after dab after dab. We did it. Look at that go. Look at that go. If you guys also want to go ahead and check out some of these games and rate them, we're probably going to be doing another game jam come December. So, if you want to see some Christmas-themed, well, we'll find out what the theme is later on. But for right now, if you want to anticipate seeing some more cool people do some more small game games you know part of this game jam the 32-bit game jam please consider following the following the 32-bit game jam page over in itch.io please consider following this channel because i've been uh just checking out i've been i'm since i'm hosting it i check out all the games that are part of the game jam